Good morning, dear students. Well set for GSC studies. As you know, second chapter of ours is going on. What is the name? Food. Yesterday we discussed about that why this beautiful picture of fresh fruits and vegetables got its place at the top of our chapter. Answer was that these are the components which protect us from different diseases. Along with this, we also discussed about the first topic that was importance of food in our body. Today, I am taking the next topic that is sources of food. Means from where we get our food. And dear student, have you ever think about that the different dishes that are made by mom in the kitchen need one or the other material for that? For example, if mom want to make pulao for you, what is required? Rice grain is required. From where these rice grains come in the kitchen? Answers of all these questions will be given later. First of all, all the living organisms present on the earth get their food from plants, animals and their products. This is page number 18 of our book. Having all the answers of your question that from where our food comes. First of all, let's take food from plants. As you know, we have already discussed during first chapter, plants are known as autotrophs. Why? Because they are able to prepare their own food. And after attaining their full growth, with the help of this food that is prepared by them, they produce some materials like cereals, pulses, fruits, vegetables, etc. on them. And the, all these materials are used by us as our food. In cereals like wheat, grains, rice grains, maize, jowar, bajra, all these rich in carbohydrates are known as energy giving food. Pulses like kidney beans, black gram, red lentil, all these pulses are helpful in our growth and are known as the bodybuilding food. Fruits and vegetables are supposed to be the protective food, dear student, because they protect us from various diseases. In this way, you can say that many products we get from the plants. Whether all the nuts are there, like groundnut, cashew nuts, peanuts, like herbs, spinach, fenugreek or the spices like cumin seed, carom seeds, coriander, mustard, all these we get from the plants. Here, where does it come from? Eggs, meat, milk, etc. And answer is, these comes from the animals. These food items we get from the animals. Hens, ducks, fishes, etc. are used to take the eggs of theirs. Likewise, all the milk animals, means the animals which produce milk, are known as milk animal. We get milk from these animals. And... Have you ever seen the bees harring on a flower? Why they are harring on a flower? Because they want to collect the nectar. This nectar is used to make the honey. Here come to the page number 18 of your book which was skipped by me earlier. Some food items are given there. Apple, eggs, cheese fruits, spices, pulses, honey, 
vegetables, milk, yogurt, type of curd in from which water is drained, ice cream and the grains. From all these you have to sort out which product we get from the plants and which product we get from the animals. This is all about have a good